Two teenagers are credited with saving a man from jumping off a local bridge. They didn't do it once, they did it twice in one night. The pair say they were just in the right place at the right time. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Lowell tonight with their story. Ken? Lisa, this is the Bridge Street Bridge over the Merrimack, kind of redundant, I know, but it's the spot where two 16-year-old friends sometimes meet up in the evening because it's about halfway in between their homes. As they crossed the same bridge tonight, it was pretty hard for Jesse Carrier and Justin Peterson not to think about last night. I'm just glad he's okay, you know. Nobody deserves to feel like that the way he did, that low. I did feel bad for the guy. It was just after 10 when the teens spotted a drunk and angry man on the other side of the railing, poised for a leap into the Merrimack River. Being disrespectful to everybody, just telling them, like, oh, it ain't worth it, I'm going to take my life. The guy told the teens he was a 30-year-old alcoholic named Eric and that nobody would help him. And then I was like, how about if, do you have any, like, sisters, brothers, would they be wanting you to be doing this right now? And he's like, no, I have nobody. By then, the 16-year-olds had grabbed a hold of Eric's sweatshirt. It was getting upset and aggressive, but eventually I just pulled him over. So that's what I felt like I had to do. They then walked the suicidal man to this nearby Dunkin' Donuts, bought him a cup of coffee, and stepped back to collect their thoughts, only to see the guy head for the bridge again. So they called 911. They got there just in time. The teens then helped police with a second bridge rescue. I think it's uh, outstanding, and I think their parents did a good job raising them, and they know the right thing to do. This time around, after punching a steel beam and breaking his hand, Eric went to the hospital for a full psychological evaluation. Justin and Jesse just hope their good deed makes a difference. Could be worse, you know, he could be in the water. He, he's still looking for him. But, I mean, now he's safe and he's getting the help that he needs, I hope. Both the teens got attaboy calls from police today, and the suicidal man's sister reached out to thank Jesse on Facebook. Live in Lowell tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.